Let's take a couple minutes and talk about how Google Chrome can help make your life uh, simpler and easier by using bookmarking that's available through the Chrome browser. Now I'm on my computer. First thing to check is in the upper right hand corner, make sure you are actually logged into the Google Chrome browser. This is the place that you use your account to log in. It will save those bookmarks. So when you're on your computer at school or your computer at home, when you're logged into that Google Chrome browser, it will have those bookmarks synced. Next, navigate down to the right where it says Customize and Control Google Chrome with three dots and go to your settings. And this is where you need at the top, uh, it says Sync, where I mentioned make sure you have Sync on everything. This is what will allow you from one Google Chrome browser to another as long as you're logged in to be able to have those bookmarks synced. The next thing is scroll down just a little bit and it talks about appearance. Make sure Show Home button is selected here and that new tab page and then the bookmarks bar. And then let me just close this. You'll notice I have some bookmarks that are on here and one of the things I want to show you is how you can quickly and easily put something in the bookmarks bar. Now I had done this practicing. I'm going to go ahead, if there's a bookmark already in there that you do not want, you can delete it. So now I would like to add this calendar into my bookmarks bar because I use my calendar quite often. First of all, you go ahead and you navigate to the address that will get you to that website. When you're up there by the URL to the left, it talks about viewing site information and then there's usually like a little picture. The picture is what you're going to take your mouse, a left click, and you're going to drag and drop. And I'm dragging it to the place that I want it. Notice I can select and you see a plus sign. I'm going to drop it and it does usually kick off, like if there's only so much room, it kicks off the thing to the right. So I've dragged that and I now have that in my bookmarks bar. It's important to do that if you want to do the next thing. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab, which is going to be empty basically. You may not have ever noticed, but you have some uh, thumbnails down here. And these are generally some of your most visited sites. I did find out it can be a little bit tricky, but there is a way to control what you're putting down here. Um, let's say that I didn't need my, oh, what is it? My Gmail here. Or no, actually Clever. So I'm going to take Clever off of here. And it will replace it with something else, a, a spot that I was recently at. Um, I would like, though, my Screencast-O-Matic. I use this in a lot, um, which is what I'm using right now. So I'm going to take this down, and hopefully this will work. Sometimes it can be a little bit goofy. And I found it doesn't necessarily matter which spot you drag it over. I think it's going to get rid of the last one that you select got added in. So I'm going to go ahead, hover over it. It says the plus sign, and hopefully this will work. So when I go to here, we'll try it one more time. So I had this happen before. Let's see. And you'll notice it did replace the Google Images. It moved it to a different spot. It is now in there as my Screencast-O-Matic. Didn't work on the first try, but it worked on the second try. So hopefully this has helped you save some time making your bookmarks.